Hello folks, Brian here. Take five, take six, whatever it is. I'm here with a bunch of updates on the Ponzi 2 project. It's a stock chart viewer that I've been writing in Go for a couple years. And this is the Go mascot. Thanks again for a supporter for the t-shirt. Anyway, I finally built a major new release for Ponzi 2, version 2.0.1 the latest release and there were a couple reasons why I bumped this up to 2.0 it's a breaking change I changed from protocol buffers to gob to store user settings this was mostly for my own education but I also got rid of that protocol buffer compiler dependency so one less thing to set up in development on the downside it's a breaking change so you'll need this um, latest change if you're using 1.0 which I also doubt because in this version um, this uses the new IEX data API which started requiring an API token and the old API is gone now so 1.0 wasn't working at all and now that you need this API token I needed a way to show users how to set up the API token so on the Ponzi 2 IO website which is also a little bit more refreshed I added a new install section and when the program doesn't have the API token it'll guide you to this page and here you can figure out where to get the cloud token and how to specify that token both on Windows 10 and Linux of course if you're on Linux the instructions are a little short because as advanced users I'll let you figure out how to specify that token in your favorite desktop environment or window manager. And the second thing I needed to do to get this out the door was after I changed the view to a logarithmic scale, the labels on the right hand side weren't matching at all. So I also fixed that up to make sure that they uh, correspond to the right price. And next, as I mentioned before, I have updated the Ponzi 2 I.O. page and I kind of added a new gallery page to celebrate this release. And now you can go back to the first early screenshots in 2017. There weren't any labels, everything was square, and I was happily using Visual Studio Code. So go check that out on Ponzi 2 I.O. to take a look at a couple interesting screenshots over time. Finally, uh, thanks to all your stars, up to 19 now, feature requests and bug reports, um, I was able to get another free year of the GoLand editor, the Go editor that I'm using to program Ponzi 2. And I got that because it was considered an open source project and had a little bit of activity, uh, thanks to your support. And recently, I ran the project through the Go report card. And I actually got an A+. And what Go Report Card does is you give it your project, it analyzes your code and spits out a score using various utilities. And there were a couple weaknesses. Some methods were kind of complicated. A lot of if, for, and case statements that could have bugs. And there were some warnings about um, missing comments. So if you'd like to contribute and easily get your name as a contributor, uh, feel free to take a look at reducing the complexity in some methods or uh, fixing some of these comments to get an easy win. So next up, what I'm going to focus on is probably this sidebar. I've been using this program and I've got a lot of different stocks now. Um, at the bottom here I've got a bunch of housing stocks. In the middle I've got some tech stocks. And so it's hard to scroll or see what is what. So I'm going to work on some of the feature requests to make this sidebar more organized and make it easy to look up and categorize um, your stocks. All right. Thanks for watching. Looks like take six is a go. See you later. Bye.